Hometown Radio, 92.3 The Tide, live and local, Amanda Pearl here. And I am joined with very special guest, LPGA Tour player, Christina Kim. Welcome. Thank you so much. We've been having too much fun in here. I don't even, that's not even fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's, first of all, thank you for coming in. This is such an honor to have you here, and I know that you've been going all over on your tour right now, getting ready for the upcoming LPGA. And uh, find out more online about the Kings Mill Championship by going to wydaily.com and clicking on the Kings Mill Championship button. First of all, just to kind of introduce you to our listeners and for those that don't know about your fabulous career, you've been playing golf for a long, long time. I have. And you're not that old. I, I, well, thank you. You're not old <laughs> Thank at all. you. Well, I, I, She's I'm, like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh, you know, a lot, there's a lot of uh, younger players that are coming in yeah. on tour, so, you know, I kind of feel like I'm in this strange position of being, you know, I mean, this is my 11th year on tour, but yeah. I, just like like legitimate like like three weeks ago turned twenty nine so oh, you know I've, you look the oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I've been um, you know on tour since I was eighteen so mm -hmm. came right out of high school and just kind of been running around um, so I'm a veteran but I've got some friends that have just come out on tour that are older than me so it's this weird You're little in situation kind of a that I'm in kind yeah of thing right exactly now. well so you've been playing since you were eleven. Pretty much. Yes. Um, what made you want to start? Did was anyone in your family play golf? How did you start? Yes, my family, uh, my parents, they started playing golf, I guess, maybe like three or four years before I did. And instead of like, you know, every Saturday morning, you'd go down and, you know, have the fresh smell of pancakes and, you know, have the, you know, the Saturday morning cartoons on, like all of a sudden it was like cold and dark and barren because my parents would leave at the crack of dawn to go play golf. And I didn't know what was going on for the first few, like a uh, few months. And I was like, I do not like, I, there, I eat cereal Monday through Friday. Like Saturday is reserved for pancakes and Saturday What's happening morning cartoons. Right now? Exactly. I don't like this. And um, so my dad said, you know what, we'll let you in on the secret, like where, here's a stick, you swing it, and you can stop when you're good. So it's nice. been, God, all, almost 18 years now, and I haven't stopped yet. And you still enjoy it, that's all that matters, yeah. Oh, look at my office. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> yeah. you can't complain. Could be in worse places. Absolutely. Right. Well, I have to say, it's pretty impressive, you're, you're just, just a few, your rookie year officially was 2003. And at least it's in this millennium. At least it's in this <laughs> millennium. But in just two years, I mean, you're you you kind of made that mark. You you crossed over. And what was the most significant point for you? Saying like, "Wow, I, I, I'm a professional golfer." <laughs> like, what was that moment for you? Um, you know, when I actually turned professional when I was 18, I pretty much was just out on the golf course with my dad, like before a tournament, and I was like, "Oh my." I was like, it's my birthday. I'm 18. I can go vote, and I'm a pro golfer now. I'm like, that's, that's pretty <laughs> much how it is. It's official. <laughs> but I think uh, in my career, the you know, my, my first victory, which came in 2004, which was as close to my hometown of San Jose, California, as we've come, um, you know, being able to win in front of friends and family and, you know, just being in California and having that be my first victory was was really something special because, you know, we play, you know, almost 30 tournaments a year, and not many of them are going to be over in Northern California. So to have that as my maiden victory, was it was probably one of the sweetest moments of my life. My dad was caddying for me, and so my mom was there. My dad was caddying. It was just like, oh, my God. It was just, can't, I, yeah. I can't handle that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, that's one, and um, those kind of moments are, are what defines it, definitely. I want to talk a little bit, we're going to take a short break, I want to talk about the LPGA, and um, you've played here before in Kings Mill, and kind of what the highlights are, and what you're looking forward to, because it's coming up just a few short weeks. 17 so. days. And it's 17 days, you <laughs> count it down. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break here, is of Monsters and Men with Mountain Sound on the Tide. Live and local hometown radio, I am joined in the studio with LPGA tour player Christina Kim, she is... Well, nice enough to come in the studio. I'm very excited to have you here. We're talking all about all things golf and a little bit of other stuff off air, which is pretty fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little bit too much fun in here. Um, with the LPGA starting, uh, it's coming up right around the corner. It's starting April 29th and going through May 5th right over at Kings Mill. It's a beautiful course, and um, this is your 11th. Is that your 11th season yes. with the LPGA? Yes, it is. That's amazing. Does it seem like that long to you? 
definitely not. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> not at all. I didn't even realize it was like April. <laughs> I seriously, it feels like February right now of like 2008. So <laughs> I need to kind of get That's with the times right now. You need to kind of quick step up on that, Christina. Come on now. <laughs> no, it's, it, it, yeah. my, my life has flown by. It's been such an incredible journey. Um, and Thankfully, it's nowhere near done, you know? I've yeah, got a long true. way to go, but I'm, um, you know, loving life and, and just loving being here. It's 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 great to always come back to Williamsburg, and it's kind of nice because I flew in um, yesterday, and everyone's like, oh, the weather's changed right always. when you came in. And I'm like, well, you know, that's what the LPG does, you know? That's just what brings it in. That is it just what we do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, hopefully the weather is beautiful for the tournament. Um, and speaking of just coming to Williamsburg and playing over at Kingsmill, what is your favorite thing about that course? What do you look forward to? Do you have your, your hardest, you know, the hardest spot, the easiest spot? What are, you, what are you looking forward to? You know, every year it's a little bit different. Um, you know, I always enjoy coming down the stretch and playing 16 and 17, uh, going into and then running along the James River. And you can, you know, see the, uh, the, the, the naval graveyard over off in the distance. Sometimes it's laying out in the mist and everything. It's, it's just beautiful. There's so much history around. You know, all the, all the trees, there are so many great running trails. The spa is incredible. <laughs> um, so that is, that's always been, uh, that's Girl, kind of been key. talk about that. Right? Tell you, <laughs> you know what, right now they're having a bunch of their spring specials. So oh, gosh, you even stop have it. A <laughs> you even have a chance to go buy their, their spring European facial. Oh, my goodness. It's on sale for like $70, and oh. it's normally at over 100 Oh, my gosh. Just saying. Just, just saying. I'm going to have to delay my flight. You're going to cancel something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, there's spot. I mean, Kings Mill itself is just an amazing, amazing place. And playing golf there, obviously, the courses are just run out and they're beautiful. Um, so if you've, if you've got your, your easy spots and your, your hard spots, you're looking forward to it. That's good. I did have, my husband had a question. Okay. What's your favorite club? My favorite club? You know, the, the answer has kind of morphed over the years. It used to be my driver because um, I've been told by several people, and it might be true, that I'm the best misser on tour, where I can miss nice. hit a I shot. Don't I don't know about that. Yeah, well, you know, you, can, you don't necessarily <laughs> hit it right, you know, yes. right where you want on the club, but yeah. it, it, you yell loud enough and hard enough, it'll listen. <laughs> it, sometimes it does. So um, I yes, would say... Yes, ma'am. I got you. <laughs> all right, fairway. Yes, ma'am. Um, but driver used to be my favorite club of all time, but I really started to get, you know, fall in love with my putter, which is a great thing to say because I used to... I mean, I would be on the phone with that thing and hang up and be like, I'm never speaking to you again. I can't believe you did that to me. And like, we're like rebuilding our, our relationship right now. So I'm, I'm actually really starting to fall in love with my little putter. It's kind of bonding. You know, go to sleep with it at night. Just kind of pat it. I, no, it's not the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of stories like that, I did um, hear about one of, uh, I have to ask you, what's your most embarrassing moment? Well, how much time do we have? Uh, you got a lot of them? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah there's there's here. something that happens week in, week out that, you know, most people would probably say they would die of, mort you know, of just mortification. And I, I'm just like, you know, it's par for the course. Move up, move on. It just kind of happens. Yes, I roll my ankles when I'm walking in sneakers. No, I can run 10 miles in heels. Um, but I would say the one that tops a cake is in 2006. That was my first skinny year. I've had a couple of bouts. Um, I Your first skinny year? Skinny year, yes. <laughs> like, le like legit, like you can go back and look. I, that, was, that was like what, that was one of my skinny years. Um, I was in Atlantic City and I was playing in the af early afternoon. So I was one of the first groups off in the afternoon and I was, we were saying it's similar to Kings Mill in that the resort and the hotel is located right on site. So I was wearing this cute little outfit, this purple little shirt and these white shorts with that, you know, like the, the quote unquote new techie fabric. And so, you know, it's like, it looks great and it's like, you know, stain resistant. You could like, like it's cute. like, this yeah, like, yeah. I, you know, I look, I look like linoleum. You just wipe it clean. It's just great. <laughs> um, but it doesn't really stretch as it turns out. And so I'm, I'm on the putting green. I'm c completely by myself and I bend down to grab my golf balls to practice putting with and my shorts rip <laughs> from belly button 
to the other, like to the to the top of the pants on the other side. <laughs> and the only thing that was saving me was the fact that I was wearing a belt. So I was able to kind of wrap a towel around myself and then scuttle back in shame back to my hotel room. And I was like, okay, we're going with the skirt today. <laughs> no more of this techie fabric, not for the bottoms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So since that's a good one. I like it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it at the time. It, uh, legitimately, though, I was by myself. It was one of those things, like you know, it's like where you, you know, you trip going upstairs and you're by yourself. Like, but going, you look around and, and you're oh, like, of course, what? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's there. You look behind you and you look ahead of you, and there's like 50 stairs behind you and 45 ahead of you, and no hallways in sight. <laughs> but you still just check to make sure you look for the cameras. Like those. No one and nothing that saw me. So it was. Can't help but laugh at your. It was like it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> Except for that one time when I talked about it. Well, it's, <laughs> it's just me and you. No one else is listening. It's fine. <laughs> Might have just sold a few more tickets to King's. <laughs> <laughs> well, because of the fact that I'm not going to wear techie white fabric ever again. We're going to take a vote. I think you should. Let's break, let's break that barrier. <laughs> well, I know that in addition to being an amazing player, you also give back um, to the youth a lot. I know that today you're actually going over to do um, something with the youth, so I want to talk about how you, you do it in that regard, and we're going to take a quick break and be right back. I'm with Christina Kim. She's LPGA Tour player. You can find out more online. Go to wydaily.com and click on the Kingsmill Championship button. It, uh, it's coming up April 29th through May 5th. Get your tickets. You can play with a pro, look at the schedule, and so much more. Check it out on wydaily.com. Keep it here on the Tide. Hometown Radio 92.3 The Tide. Amanda Pearl here live and local, and I'm joined with LPGA player Christina Kim, and we're having a blast in here talking about everything, and, and mainly the LPGA Tour coming to Kings Mill, and you can find out more at wydaily.com. Just click on the Kings Mill Championship button. And uh, um, where are you headed after this? You've been on a little media whirlwind tour today, but the, the one, the stop after this, I'm most excited about. I am headed over to Newport News to partake in the. Uh, I'm hosting a junior clinic for the first, uh, the first tee program. Your face just lit up. You're so excited about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I mean, I've, I've been um, having a, such a great day. You know, yeah. I've been everywhere from from Norfolk to um, Virginia Beach. We were in Chesapeake, and uh, you know, coming back here and then yeah. heading over to Newport News. And you know, it's I, I've I've had a great day, but uh, it's going to be great to hang out with the kids and yeah. and um, you know, give back to the community a little bit because you know, I mean, it's such a cliche, but you know, the kids are our future. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's. That's true. That is very true. Now, is there? An, uh, do you do these kind of programs a lot? Um, I do the kids out instruction that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, I do do clinics um, several times a year. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'm not like Natalie Golbus, who yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, just opened up a boys and girls club. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, I think it's a Natalie Golbus boys and girls club. I'm not sure what it is. It's or where it is. Excuse me, but um, you know, she's she's you know fully funded it and it's got you know. A whole bunch of stuff, but I mean, um, you know, I do a lot of junior clinics and, you know, hang out with the kids during the tournaments and, you know, sign autographs, have chats. I've got a few kids that, you know, I interact with on Twitter, um, interact through email, you know, like helping them, you know, go through the phases to get into college and play for collegiate teams and things like that. So, um, you know, I just, I just love, I don't know, I just love people. That's fun. Yeah, that's a good answer. Just love people. I love people. <laughs> Well, having that you started playing golf at such a young age, uh, encouraging kids to play, is that something, I mean, kids have a choice of many different sports. Why would you, you know, encourage people to play, or kids to play golf starting that starting that young? Is it, I've heard that it's kind of a good focus, you know, it's just a, kind of a different kind of sport. Absolutely. Golf is different from, say, basketball or football because it's an individual sport, not a team thing. But it's also different from, say, tennis, which is a, you know, people say it's a, a, an individual sport, but you're playing instead of one-on-one. -on -one, um, you don't have an opponent. The only opponent is the golf ball, which just stares at you. You know, and, and so you have to control the ball. You think so about it, it's got many little eyes. It's got a whole bunch of little eyes, especially if you put little dots on all of them. They got all these little pupils looking at you. But um, I think that it's great because one thing that I love about the game is that it teaches you about accountability and responsibility and self-reliance and, and, and honesty because, you know, it's not like, you know, a lot of other sports where they have referees there that are saying, you know, throwing a, a red flag or a blue card or, you know, whatever it is or screaming 
out or no or stop or I don't know what you know just terminology oh, there yes <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass um, so you know you have to kind of hold yourself accountable which I think is is you know there there are traits that should be taught to children from day one but you know it's when you can get a sport involved that helps teach that as well you know you learn a lot of life skills through playing golf you know some nights, some days, if you're having a bad day, you learn a lot about survival skills too. You know, but I just think it's great for kids because you know you become accountable for what you do, and you essentially control. Um, you have the ability to control your score, and um, you know just play a good, clean, honest sport. That's true. Yeah. Good. I like nice yeah. answer. For you. <laughs> Plus, you're hanging out in the trees and the and the grass and Beautiful all that. Beautiful courses absolutely. around the country, yeah, and around the world actually. So um, you can't beat it. Can't no, beat it. cannot. Well, when you come back to Williamsburg, do you have any plans for what to do while you're here? Yes, I have plans on besides winning. Um, yeah, okay, well then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hitting up the spa yeah. for sure. Um, you know, partaking in the pro am, going to the pairings party uh, on Tuesday, the thirtieth of April. Um, but just hanging out, you know, and hopefully there'll be a lot of kids because you know it's it's a start of spring, and and anyone that's seventeen and under gets in free with a ticketed adult. Yes. Um, hopefully we'll be able to hang out with some of the military folks because uh, the King Phil PJ Championship is saying that anybody with the military is allowed free on site with as yeah. well as one guest which I think is awesome and and uh, you know I was doing a um, um, a promo deal earlier and the, they were like this is the best news we've heard it's just so great to see that you know there's a tournament that you know is, is absolutely yes. I think it's just wonderful so um, I might be going to Bush Gardens I don't know if it's gonna be open at the time it's open on the weekends now. I think I'm not. Ooh, I might be busy. Weekend, though. Yeah, I might be a little busy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little busy. A little distracted with other things. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but um, no, I'm just going to be hanging out, hanging out in the area, and you know, might go check out Old Town Longsburg a little bit. You should. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, always. it's it's yeah. beautiful here. There's so many things you can do. Even just staying in the resort and going on a on a on a run on the trails. You go get lost and then knock on someone's door and say, "How Hi. do I get home?" <laughs> <laughs> it's and everyone's always so welcoming. It's you know there's and so a many day things later they'll too. see you playing golf. Yeah, exactly. like, oh my gosh, that girl totally yeah. just knocked on my door yesterday. Yeah, so. we should have kept her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you'll have an amazing time if you need any any tips on restaurants, anything like that around here. You give me a call. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm all over that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a beer together. It'll be great. <laughs> awesome. We'll do spa day and then we'll go get <laughs> beer. <Yes>. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Christine, thank you so much for coming in. It was such a blast having you in here, and good luck on the tour. Thank you so much. Yes, and enjoy it. Just have fun with it, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you out there. Thank you, and thank you so much for having me, and I can't wait to come back in 17 days. 17 days. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have the hours and the minutes. Uh, well, you know, it kind of depends. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to wake up early on Monday or you know, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Find out more about the LPGA Championship. Go to wydaily.com and click on the Kingsmill Championship button. There's ticket information, the schedule, and so much more. And you do have a chance to play with a pro. So find out more online at wydaily.com. Thanks for tuning in. Keep it here on the Tide. The Tide.